Hello, 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 my dear student. Let's start our week by warming up. We will solve for all missing angles and sides. Let me remind you how that is done by using the Pythagoras theorem. We know by now that this is a Pythagoras triple, so x equals to 3. Then I'll use the trigonometric ratio to find z and y. What formulas did you use to solve the triangle? We use the Pythagoras theorem. We use Sohka Tua. And all angles add up to 180 in a triangle. This is a well-known fact. Now, could you use those formula in this triangle? Since this is 35 and this is 35, we don't know what is Z and Y nor X. This is an oblique triangle. An oblique triangle is any non-right triangle. So we cannot use the Pythagoras theorem to solve the triangle. There are formulas to solve oblique triangle, just like there are for right triangle. So to solve the oblique triangle, we use the law of sines and cosines, and we will learn how to find the triangle area. The general comments here. You have learned to solve right triangle. Now we will solve oblique triangles, which is non-right triangle. Angles are capital letters and the sides opposing is the same letter in lower case. What we already know, the interior angles total 180. We can't use the Pythagorean theorem. And the area is half base times height. Larger angles are across from longer side and vice versa. The sum of two smaller sides must be greater than the third. This is by now we already know all of that. What's the law of sines? It will help you to solve for size angles in oblique triangle. The law of sines states that sine A, which is the angle, over the opposite side, which is small a, equals sine b over small b, sine c over small c. You can also use it upside down. Put the sides on top, the angles on the bottom. Both ways, eventually, it's a ratio. You will do cross product to solve, and you will end up having the same answer. Now, how or when we use the law of sines? When I have three parts of a triangle and you need to find the other three parts, we know that for a triangle, we have three sides and three angles. They cannot be just any three dimensions though, or you won't have enough info to solve the law of sines equation. We use the law of sines if you are given the AAS, two angles and one adjacent side. We use it when I have ASA, which means two angles and their included sides. We use <coughs> it when I have angle, side, side. Sometimes it's applicable. Two sides and their adjacent angle. Now, the general process for the law of sines, except for the ASA triangle, you will always have enough information for one full fraction and half of the another. We start always, as a, remember when I told you, when we studied the ratios, we use the fraction when we have a full fraction. Start with that to find the fourth piece of data. Once you know two angles, you can subtract from 180 to find the third. I hope you will understand uh, this lesson as you have understood all the previous lessons. Of course, to avoid rounding error, use given data instead of computed data whenever possible. And that's always I tell you. So I hope you will enjoy this lesson as you have enjoyed all what we have taken so far. Have a good day. Bye bye.